Hey people, I feel like talking. It's Sunday, um, the 7th of um, April. Cheers. I'm going to have to take this off because I don't want copyright. Now I see where... Um, I see where other folks are playing music in their videos and it's okay, but I don't I don't know what's okay and what's not. So I'm just not playing music in my videos because I've had many taken down in the past. What I was listening to is further exploring the new Andre 3000, new blue sun. This is nice. This is nice. But I'll tell you what, I'm using it as a perfect um, setup to, to blow this up. Get this. Get the Muse if you're interested in the Blue Sun. This is okay. It meanders and it wanders and it just kind of floats around. And it's, and it's nice. It's not very substantial, though. And um, I suspect that the price of this has more to do with the record label than with Andre 3000. They saw this as, they see this as all businesses do. You know, they see uh, an opportunity to make money. They want to exploit it. This was, is very exploitable. Andre 3000, um, famous hip hop. Um, artist goes um, new age or whatever you want to call it jazzy and it's it's a talking point and it's worked and they're able to sell this freaking record for $79 when this $10 singing bowl number one is the way to go I'm, I'm shamelessly um promoting myself shamelessly get get the muse and several people have bought it on, on um Bandcamp Friday thank you again cheers so what's up there's a record show the, the the main record show of the year is today there's one in the in the spring and one in the fall even though I've spent a bunch of money recently on records, I plan to go to the record show. I plan to take copies of, of my my works, what I, what I have in stock. Um, last time I went to the record show, um, several people asked, several, you know, not just two, several people asked if I had any, any anything on me to sell, and I did and sold. So I plan to do that again today. If I don't forget, I'll try to um, remember to take some shots of other VC members that you may know who, who will likely be at the record show today. We'll see if that all comes down. I'm looking forward to, sh to uh, going. Not so much to spend money because I've given myself a limit and a lower limit than the last record show. Um, I'm kind of looking forward to the camaraderie and as well as as well as uh, digging. I do enjoy just digging through crates. I do. Okay. Oh, so I got a bit of a surprise last night. So last time I talked to James um, regarding um, the muse and other things we're going to James the sax flute player. He had talked about. Um, putting together a show for May, um, reconvening um, chemicals, as well as his his act, Agronimo. And I said, I'm all for it, but I hadn't heard anything. Next thing I know, last night I look online and there's there's um, a flyers for the show on May 3rd with Agronimo and chemicals. So I got a hold of James last night. I said, oh, so... This is happening, obviously, right? Because I told him when we met, um, talking about this stuff, that I would let him take the lead, you know. Chemicals wasn't necessarily my band, but in a way it was. But I'm going to let him, 
what we're going to see. Okay. You know, let him take the lead. So he and Blake are supposed to come over today after the record show to plot and plan. And I hope they follow through because I haven't seen Blake for over a month. And I still haven't been able to talk to him about his breakdown in communication with me. So I hope that happens today. I sure do. So let me say it again. I applaud this by Andre 3000. And have you heard the track that he did with Kamasi Washington on Kamasi's upcoming album? It's substantial. And that's more like it. Not really that's more like it, but you can hear the gravitas, is that the right word, of the setting of the Kamasi track where it's like, yeah, that's fully realized. This is pretty good. I ain't gonna lie. This is pretty good. And um, I hope that um, he pr pursues whatever he pursues. If he does more of that, it'll just be better. So in the um, comments um, this morning, I just, um, I just deleted one where someone tries to gaslight me. They don't watch and they don't listen. You know, I'm not one-sided at all. It's the, 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 the problem with people want to complain that I am one-sided politically and I'm not. I have spoken about um, the warmongers. So you gas, you know, you don't even listen. See, that's why I do speak up because people who are, um, um, I don't know what they are, cult members, right-wing extremists, fools, um, no objectivity, you know, it's all this one side versus the other. How childish. I just, you know, so stupid and childish. Yeah, I erased that shit. Don't come over here trying to gaslight me. You ain't got nothing for me, motherfucking fools. I'll call you out. Fools trying to defend that asshole Trump. Fuck all of y'all. Yeah, fuck these people. And I care about you. I do. You don't care about me. What's wrong with you motherfuckers? Let's get back to some music. Okay. So I was digging through my stuff and this is a non-music album. Wolf Wastel. This is part of that Fluxus Dada sort of stuff that used to go on. It was big in Germany and in Europe. And um, this is not music. And it's a fun listen to for me in part just to hear what people decide to put in juxtaposition. So in here, you can hear things like glass scraping, um, someone fiddling with a radio, um, some other things that are hard to dis de for me to describe. And that's part of what's fun about this. What I understand about Wolf Bostel is um, he, along with Joseph Buies, I think, were the first people to incorporate televisions into their artwork, not Nam Jun Pike. Nam Jun Pike is world famous for his television stuff. Apparently, um, Nam Jun Pike did it with Wolf Bostel first. Don't quote me, I was just reading up on this stuff. Interesting. Pulled this last night because I'm thinking about having Edward Cospell back on after his new record comes out. Legendary Pink Dots, The Angel in the Detail. Edward Cospell really impresses me. The output, the he has a large output of music and it, none of it sounds the same. And there's this edge of, there's an edge to all of it, an edge of discovery. What's, gonna, what's he gonna do next? What's he gonna try next? There's a lot of guitar on this, which is not always the case with LPD records. I love Ed Edward's voice. He's someone who I will follow his storylines or what he's talking about because he's saying a lot of things I agree with or feel, even though it'll come across kind of dark sometimes. Legendary Pink Dots. So... We had another death, but this is one that probably no one hardly in the VC would will, 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 will um, know about. Um, 
amazing classical pianist, Maurizio Polini, passed away apparently in the last couple days. I've been knowing about Polini all, since a teen, teen years. What a pianist he was. Like Martha Argerich, um, their, the brilliance of their um, approach to the pieces, he is real precise and like glass, really clear. Um, both pieces here, the Stravinsky and the Prokofiev, he just knocks them out of the park. I listened to the Stravinsky yesterday after finding out about his death. Yes, I like classical music. I love it, actually. And yes, classical music is good for your mental health. That's why I keep talking about the political things, because we're having a crisis in mental illness. We're having a crisis in mental illness, okay? There is no, I don't, there's no false equivalency between the two parties, okay? I don't have to talk about one because I'm talking about the other. Talk about what the fuck I want. And, and Trump is a total dumpster fire. Total. Total dumpster fire. Real bad news. Real bad news. I ain't got to uh, be fair. What the fuck? Childish assholes. More Stereo Lab. Um, just pull this because I love this. Ping. Super Falling Star. The way the album starts. It's just, a, to me, a classic Stereo Lab song. It's interesting how they, again, kind of like Legendary Pink Dots. They have a lot of music out. And yet they continue, it's, um, they come up with a lot of good stuff. Let me see what else I didn't show from, um, I did get a couple more things yesterday. Here's another, uh, at the, um, at Grapefruit on Friday or whatever day it was. Here's something that was in the used that I decided to take a chance on because it was, the they had marked it down. And I like soundtracks and this is Italian. So I was thinking, mm, this could be. This could be something. Killer Nun, soundtrack by Alessandro Alessandroni. I had never heard of the fella before. Um, that's a, I'm not attracted to that, this, this um, graphic, but the total package, including the fact that it was on this, I said, I'll take a chance on this because if I don't like it, I can just take it and trade it back in. That's cool looking, isn't it? This is in no way comparable, in compar comparable to Ennio Morricone. Um, parts of this are pretty good, but um, overall this is just okay. Um, the guy in Goblin, I forget his name, who does soundtracks. Way, way, those guys, they got it down. I'm not sorry I bought that though, and it was like it was like a fun. It was like having fun. I said, okay, I'm gonna. Take a chance on this. Oh. So, Areski with Brigitte Fontaine. I don't speak French. I love the musical settings. And this, this one goes all the way into classical on one piece. This stuff is killer. It's very imaginative. Not rock and roll. Not rock and roll. So someone asked me, are you a fan of uh, Royal Trucks, specifically the twin album Twin Infinities? I don't have that. Um, noise Rock, I have a Royal Trucks single. I forget which one it is. It's part of my um, overall that I appreciate this stuff. Don't listen to, to, to it too much. Um, I wouldn't buy a Royal Trucks record now. No, there was a time when it might have interested me. If someone gave it to me, that'd be cool. Barris is pointing out that my psychedelia uh, record collecting video, which I made, what year was this? This was a while ago. It has over 52,000 views. It was 13 years ago. See, I've been on here so long, I don't even know how long I've been on here. I made that video 13 years ago, over 50, 52,000 views. So people are getting information they need. Yes, Chambers Brothers. Yes, someone mentioned them. Oh, that's the old video. <laughs> okay. So, anyway, 
I hope to uh, have a good meeting with James and Blake today. Hope to get some clarity about what happened to Blake because he just stopped talking to me. Um, hope to find some things at the record show today. Okay. Talk to you later.